roommates could be twerking. Oh, roommates could be twerking, taking videos you don't want to be in. <laughs> Sometimes you have to use some bedsheet to cover your head. Yes, so there's this thing we say, you only live once. We, we use that as a step stone to do a lot of, excuse me to say, foolish things. Me, for instance, if a lecturer should call me, I'm like, hi, hello. Then he'll be like, sometimes he'll be like, hi, baby, if, even though you have nothing going on. Of course, I, I, I mean, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm a living testimony. I have been filled a course because a lecturer asked me to come to his house and I didn't go. Share your strategy again. When a lecturer calls you and says certain things to you, what should be the reply? People who are watching will learn. Right. You're live on 24 Hours TV. My name is Alum Newman. You can also call me Alum The Voice. I'm super excited, highly excited to meet one of Ghana's finest beb. In fact, beb. Yeah. It's too hard to meet uh, ladies that are open with a beautiful heart to have a chit chat with you. Uh, yeah. And then my chibako. Uh, yeah. She's learned She's gone to school, she's made something for herself, she's doing well for herself. She's looking forward to some one or two things, and away from that, she would like to share with us some one or two things on 24 Hours TV. Aha, hey, 24 Hours TV. Yeah, go for a quick break. Yes, I'm back. Yeah, but also. Right, welcome back. You're watching 24 Hours TV. We're going straight into this conversation. Hello, mommy. Hi. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Yourself? I'm good. Um, what's the name? Modrina. Modrina? Where, where did you get this name from? I don't really know. My mom gave it. Mom gave it to you? Yeah. Mom really thought about the name. I see. I think there should be a, a day where the man coming to marry should be able to mention the name very well. If you mention I'm wrongly, they are not giving you Modrina. Yeah, I see. Who is Modrina? Well... Regina is a young girl, just trying her best to get whatever she wants in life. So I wouldn't say much. Um, um, in the mid-20s, I've had my first degree in nursing. I've had my master's degree. And then I have this shop as well. And I also manage a family-owned health facility. So I'm trying. It's not easy, but I'm trying. I see that. She's doing well. Modrina is doing well. In this generation, what are some of the things you think young ladies need to focus on apart from focusing on men hmm. that's that i really love this topic i think young ladies should focus on themselves first of all they should love themselves know their worth and then focus on establishing themselves more instead of running around with men and ex i mean if it's even in the bible that we have to get married and all that stuff but i think you should love yourself first you know your worth have very good self-esteem you work more you should be able to bring something to the table you don't always have to depend on the men and etc so yeah if you love yourself as a young lady what should you engage in and what shouldn't you engage in mm, from my point of view you could um promote yourself and well-being by having this normal good hygiene stuff right and i think our parents especially the mothers should be very very close to their kids especially when it comes to the ladies because i for instance i do have friends but i talk to my mom a lot and there's no way any mother is going to give the daughter bad advice because no mother is going to be jealous of the daughter right so if you are very very close to your daughter since you have a lot of experience in life She's going to tell you whatever is happening in her life. And I'm sure every mother is going to give their daughter very good advice, which has actually helped me to some extent. And if you are wise, you should do well. Yes, of course, you should do well. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to tell your mom everything that is happening in your life. But then certain things need advice from people who have experience. Yes. So working on yourself educationally, if you have the chance, go to school. Get, be educated. If you have the chance, start up something. Even if you don't have the chance to go to school, you can start up learning certain jobs like hair, hairdo, nails, eyelashes, and all that stuff. I mean, establish yourself, right? Give yourself some value. Yeah. That's powerful. What are some of the challenges you had in the tertiary? Mm, I personally am an introvert, so I didn't really have a lot of challenges. The only thing is, when I went to school, I mean fresh, I made some friends who didn't help me. 
<laughs> or some of their influence that you think they di they didn't help me because i remember at that time i was very very naive and then they, they would talk about things i hadn't heard about and then i'll try to i mean these are things that are new to you yes very very new i was so curious i mean what are you guys talking about and they will be like oh you what do you know start of course you didn't hear that from mommy yes you start aside and all that and the things they were talking about i don't think there are things i could talk to my mom about so because of that i engaged in certain things that i wish i never engaged in but i mean i've learned my lesson yeah of course you're a god child so i mean you're moving forward and then you would like to advise people young ladies who are in school from uh not engaging in some of the things yes so i believe if i had spoken to my mom at that time i wouldn't have done what i did at that time but then i mean i learned my lesson so now my mom is like my tight part that's powerful influence like what do you consider may come if you find yourself in the university and then how should you handle it can you bring the what type of influence do you think some friends can give you and quickly you have to discuss with somebody or you have to avoid your your relationship with those uh friends okay so there's this thing we say you only live once we, we use that as a step stone to do a lot of, excuse me to say, foolish things. Even though you only live once, as a youth, you have to live your life, be happy and all. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to do drugs. doesn't necessarily mean you have to be an alcoholic. doesn't necessarily mean you have to sleep with multiple men. No, those things destroy your life. Health-wise, morally, they destroy your life. So, as I said earlier, if you should get an elderly person to talk to, or even a good friend to talk to, I don't think you would engage yourself in those things i see you only live one a hey, slogan it's a slogan that people bring on board like do what you have to do charlie you only live once uh, of course tomorrow now you die but you, you see i used to tell people both on radio and i'm here today i still tell people that the fact that you only live once also requires that you must live life to the pleasure of the giver of the life if big sis here happens to give me a immense shirt and then the next morning she sees it as a rag in my office she's gonna be hurt and that's the same thing god cannot bless us with life and then you choke it with alcohol you choke it with smoke you choke it with multiple sex with different partners so you only live once it's true but you would like to also have a record to keep you have a legacy to keep you have a a testimony to share one day you would need a sweet testimony i also used to say that how you got it will help you to give a testimony about it but if you got it the wrong way and you are saying Nyamia Shrami, it's, a, it's not a sweet testimony so there are a lot of influence when it comes to tesha yeah there, there are a lot of influence yes i always make the friendship a standpoint because when you go to tesha you meet a lot of people people dif different types of people even some lecturers be interested in you it's not easy it's not easy and you, you don't have to be rude to them because you're afraid they might fool you so there's yeah. a dicey way i personally had a dicey way to go about that one and it actually helped me so, have a cool strategy oh yes can you share with us some people might learn it out is that when they when they call you tell them you have this particular sickness in your family you love him too much not to let that sickness come to him so please avoid me is that what you say to them no so when they normally take your lecture takes a number it's like a normal stuff they start calling you texting you you respectfully decline their offer you don't have to be rude to them but if they keep on me for instance if a lecturer should call me i'm like hi hello then he'll be like sometimes they'll be like hi baby if, even though you have nothing going on then i'll be like hi sir or professor something something how is your wife doing so immediately you do that subconsciously they are like age hey, this girl what is she trying to do so i kept on doing that and then now i think they had actually changed their motive and not everything now i'm, I'm cool with a lot of them which i could go to them anytime for help and all that you don't have you have really put them in their place yes you don't have to be rude you 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 you, you have to find a sensible way to deal with people like that because so you you be, i'm coming okay you being rude could cost you a lot yes of course of course I, I i mean i am i'm 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 a living testimony i have been filled a course because a lecturer asked me to come to his house and i didn't go and um i confronted him he told me when he needed me i didn't come so why am i coming to call him or 
confront him about that grade. I just left the grade as it was. It wasn't a fail, but I didn't deserve that grade. So I just left it at You it felt like you were, like they wicked you. Oh, yes. He in particular. I was, he in particular, I used all my skills on him, but it wasn't working. It was like, he, he knows what he wants and he kept on. And I decided to start ignoring his calls. That was when he did that to me. So he did me bad. Share your strategy again. When a lecturer calls you and says certain things to you, what should be the reply? People who are watching will learn. So when your lecturer calls you, he might say, hi, baby. Hi, beautiful. You go ahead. You respond by saying, hello, professor. Then you mention his name. Hi, sir. Please, how are you doing? How is your wife and family? So you start with that. And then the rest, you see that whatever they wanted to say, they might have, they will change it or they'll be like, let me call you back or something like that. Yeah. That's powerful. Wow. I wish we are having enough congregation or we have enough gathering here. We would have given a hand of applause to Modrina. That's powerful. I see. Away from that, what other influence could likely come from campus? Well, there's a positive aspect and a negative aspect. I um, went to a girls' school, so I didn't really know how to communicate with men until I went to the tertiary school. I got that positive impact, being able to talk to a lot of people and all that because of presentation and all that I would learn. And then the negative aspect is the peer pressure and all that. Sometimes you have a roommate, she'll be doing things that you have never seen before, but you have to cope with it. So I also learned that side, the coping mechanism to be able to cope with different kind of people. Roommate could be smoking? I, my roommate never smoked. Roommate could be twerking? Oh, roommates could be twerking, taking videos you don't want to be in. <laughs> Sometimes you have to use some bed sheet to cover your head. Yes, I'm not a saint, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not a saint, but there are certain things you could prevent because the internet never forgets. These videos and things we do, young ladies, sometimes I see videos and I'm like, this, this shouldn't be here, this shouldn't be done. What can I do? That's powerful. What's the positive influence? Uh, friends, positive influence. Lecturers, positive influence that maybe a lecturer had ever given you that helped you. And then a friend had given you that really helped you. Well, when it comes to their friends, I mean, I already knew God, but some friendship or some friends have made, helped me have a very strong relationship with God because they kept on reminding you to pray and all that. And with the lecturers too, as, at now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm able to talk to some of them. If I need any recommendations, they are, they are willing to help and all that. So, I mean, that's, that is that. And then if you need any, not extra classes, that's you're going to miss them somewhere, but you didn't really get something he taught in class, you could call him and then he would help you. He will help you with that. Yeah. Now you have a beautiful place. You sell these amazing clothes right here. What, what did you get this passion from? How come you started this business? Hmm. So, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a nurse by profession. And uh, we all know the nursing in Ghana doesn't really pay. So, I started this, the shop is called Swanka Fashion. Swanka Fashion? Yes, Swanka Fashion. I went to Dubai, and then I got some clothes, posted on my Snap, and I realized people liked it. They were responding to it? Yes, even though the, plan, the initial plan wasn't to sell. It was just like posting for a normal post stuff. And then people, people would say, oh, I like this, I like this, and they, they were sending money. So, like, okay, this, this, is, a good, this is a good thing. Maybe so why don't you start something? Yeah, so I bought things, in, and then they bought it. And then I ordered for my things from Sheen, and then they bought it. And then so I started saving up, and I got a little help from my uncle and then some family people. Oh, uncle, uncle, oh, uncle, God bless you, okay? God bless you. You see, we have some good uncles there. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not going to lie that I was selling pure water and all that. No, <laughs> no, I had help. So I have to acknowledge those people. I had help, and then here I am today. Then you were selling from home, and then at the at the time you decided to get a space. Yes, it was an online shop, but some people were skeptical of, uh, for, about buying from me because of this um, fraud stuff and all that. So I just decided to get the shop, and it has been helpful too. I've even registered the shop. That's the Swanka Fashion. That's the certificates up there. That's powerful. So every young lady who wants to do something for herself could engage into few businesses like. Yes. 
you could if you don't have money to open a shop you, the online thing helps a lot especially now that we have tiktok and all that things so you can learn how to braid you can learn how to fix lashes fix nails how to sew and like a lot of things there are lots there are lots you can you can even do pastries delivery and all that stuff so yeah that's powerful where is Swanka fashion located Tema Community 25 on the Death Chalco Road near Farmers Market. We are right on top of the Prime Pharmacy. That's powerful. Are you on social media or something? Yes. My snap handle is Abna underscore Drina. And then my Instagram handle is Swanka Fashion underscore GH. Yes. I see. Okay. Now we move on to the next phase of this conversation. Are you married? No, I'm not. Are you seeing someone or dating or something? No. <laughs> okay. I see. Is it something you would like to talk about? But you have guys on the on standby. Is there traffic? There is traffic. Okay, so what do you look out for in a man that you have not seen in this traffic uh, people that are lined up? It's not that I have not seen. I have seen in a couple of them. But... <laughs> The thing is, I have this fear of making a mistake. Yes, that is why I have not been able to choose one particular person. I'm afraid to make a mistake. So I'm still praying to God about it, to show me the way. I'm sure the people watching all the way from Italy, Canada, um, UK, US, uh, even Ghana here. They are well-behaved guys that would want to buy. You don't come in like you come and buy things first at Swanka Fashion. Come and buy things. Let her get to know you. Eh, yeah, of course, she don't want to mess up her life. She's invested. I want to say one thing. What I've realized is, especially with this TikTok stuff, Instagram and things, we meet people and then we rush into relationships. People just say, I love you. They, On TikTok? Yes, people, people, I mean, you meet someone, you talk, you, you, you try to get to know the person within a week and the person is telling you, I want us to date. I, I love you. I want to marry. And I mean, I feel like people just use the I love you without meaning it. To me, saying I love you means a lot. You love me means you'd, you'd forgive me. You are ready to do a lot of things for me. You get So I take my time. So every social media kind of approach is not cool. I didn't say it's not cool. My, where I'm coming from is take your time. Get to know the person. Make sure there's a connection. Are you guys on the same page? If you are not on the same page, I don't think some people date and they know this dating won't take us anywhere, but they still do it. Waste of time and emotions. And there are STDs out there, so please use condoms. <laughs> Before you use, I know, of course, you're a nurse. You advise on that. We'll come to that. What exactly? Keep, keep the official ones, okay? What exactly do you look out for in a man? Keep the secret one, the key. Keep it. But what exactly do you look out for? So that the man that is watching... She'll find the next one. She'll find the, the remaining one. Okay. I'll just mention maybe three or four. First of all, he should be God-fearing. Doesn't mean he should be a Christian. There's a difference between being a Christian and being God-fearing. So he should be God-fearing. Responsible. Yes. He should have good hygiene. I'm so with that one. He should have good hygiene. Yeah, some men, they won't bath when they come back. They will just go to the bed. Oh, it's a problem. They should have good hygiene. And he should be a family person, someone who loves to take care of his family. And I say family, his mother. A guy who respects his mother would respect the wife. Yes, so he should be a family person as well. Yeah. Is that two? You said you were going to give three. You gave four. Can you, go, can you come back again? Yes, I said God fear it. He should be hygienic. He should be a family person. And what was the third? The last one I said. Um, yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes, and responsible. How can I forget that? You should be a responsible person. Let's go to health. What are some of the basic things you think both men and women are doing that is not healthy? Hmm. When it comes to all age, uh, the way what we eat, our lifestyle, what we eat in our lifestyle, it's, it's, it's really putting a lot of people in trouble. And when it comes to the men, when you guys fall sick, let me talk to you. When you guys fall sick, you sit in the house till it is very late before you visit the hospital. When you do that, sometimes we don't even know what to do. We just do our best. You see, sometimes uh, men, some people may feel like uh, going to check up is a waste of time and money. 
it is not at all i think it actually saves you money if you come for checkup you know you are fine when you're walking around you know you are fit and all that but if you don't come for checkup you don't do your labs you don't do std tests you are just you don't know whether you are fine or not you just be there one day and then something happens and then we take you to the hospital that is when we discover a lot of illness we discover yeah there's, there's a there's a lot of things wrong with you then you have to pay extra money so if you had gone to check up yeah. they would discover it first and then we, we could have helped you manage it before it would be worse or something like that yeah wow that's powerful yes and one of the things i would like the parents to pay attention to is that's fine especially emra omusano Nyama bi on ma oka chia oba e bufu oswa kan nanso mkraye ni pebi a amu reinfia di they can grow up with it and it would affect them emotionally and mentally sometimes even physically a kraye di ana oka nse me ye ya unye ye da like a whole lot African parents we do you people do that a lot simple chia ye nse nse ma ye kachia ye man because it affects you amu pa mu no mu ni a afi di amu koni pe mu kraye no mu sro because oswa ne ne ma be kachia ne se. But to say, what to say, it's impermature. Um, I ain't she ain't kind crying, she said, and try a banner, and then send papa and go on my brabble, so send a bear that she be so so. Almost so much to me, I had a CBIA, a debate. Wow, where do you come from? Um, I, I come from Ejumaku in the central region. A few years ago, I was at Ejumaku and Yan Esian. Uh, my uncle worked at a district uh, as a district director or something at a jumanku Enyan. is that that place you're talking about yeah okay so that i know that place yeah oh father in the mighty name of jesus help me to know that road again <laughs> Even. <laughs> before we go your general advice to young ladies when you hear that young ladies decide to date more guys like two three how do you see them and what's your conclusion so I don't judge. Everyone has a reason for doing something, okay? I might not know what the person is going through or why the person is doing what they are doing. The person might not have an uncle like you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the person, I don't, I, I might not know, okay? But I feel like, see, love yourself. When you love yourself, there are certain things you won't do. So that is all what I have to Just love yourself. Cherish yourself, your body. Cherish your body. If you should go around sleeping with a lot of guys and you get STD, you get um, infections down there, you are going to discharge foul smell. It will be on your body. It won't be written on the guy's body. It will be on you. So just love yourself. Love your body. Cherish the body God has given you. Yeah. I'll make time so we talk on health. Generally. Generally. Sa um debetia omu emba. Medasi se wajibre amayakasa ewa eye twenty four hours TV so. Meso medase. Thank you for having me. I'm blessed. Me asho se wonsu, you are blessed from hearing in yama ewa se wati, both from campus life, or ba sa ewa se wukra o hon, nana ufo sa ewa se wukhe, ene sa ewa se wudi kasa che wumba. Ene sa ewa se ebia, wudi, Handle was sitting on you know, health wise. Uh, generally, Uti, yeah, you need to pick the fat, sir. It was a co check up now. Co check up in Tema, it's me. Wow, aha, a 24 hours TV. Your friend, me, Elom Newman, who's also to me, friend, me, Elom the voice. And my pamono, you be so she abum. Now, Mr. Sir, over hitting the like button. Now, I subscribe it. Now, I share. Am I? And my pam, you be so she abum. Bye bye.